Flight Controls Part 2 covers ailerons and spoilers. Let's first look at ailerons. Inboard and outboard ailerons provide roll control and are powered by all four hydraulic systems. Control wheel inputs are mechanically transferred to hydraulic actuators at each aileron. The control wheels are connected through a control wheel override mechanism which allows either wheel to move independently if the other wheel jams and a significant manual force is applied. Roll control is then available through the ailerons on the wing corresponding to the free control wheel. Each side of the mechanical system also incorporates shear routes which may allow the jammed control wheel to be freed when a significant manual force is applied to the jammed wheel. All ailerons operate at low speeds. The outboard ailerons lock out to the neutral position at high speed with the flaps retracted to prevent over-controlling. If the ICAS advisory message, aileron lockout, is displayed, the outboard ailerons may be unlocked at high airspeed. Large or abrupt control wheel inputs may cause over-controlling. The message also indicates that the outboard ailerons may be locked out at low airspeeds. Roll authority may be reduced and a crosswind landing a limitation will apply. Aileron trim switches are located on the aisle stand. The switches are spring-loaded toggle switches with three positions, left wing down, right wing down, and neutral. When both aileron trim switches are pushed in the same direction, trim signals are sent to move the ailerons and reposition the control wheels. Aileron trim indicators are located on each control column and display units of aileron trim. Question. Answer C is correct. Let's discuss spoilers. There are six spoiler panels on each wing. The spoilers are powered by hydraulic systems 2, 3, and 4. Spoilers assist the ailerons in roll control. Spoilers also function as in-flight speed brakes and ground spoilers. Control wheels control the roll function of the spoilers. The five outboard spoilers on each wing assist the ailerons in roll control. Speed brake lever located on the control stand controls the speed brake function of the spoilers. The speed brake lever has four positions, up, flight detent, arm, and down. On the ground, placing the speed brake lever up 
extends all spoiler panels to their full up position. In flight, placing the speed brake lever to the flight detent position extends the four inboard spoiler panels on each wing to their mid-travel position. With speed brakes extended, the five outboard spoiler panels still modulate to assist in roll control. An in-flight automatic stop prevents the speed brake lever from being moved aft of the flight detent position while in flight. When in flight or on the ground, placing the speed brake lever to down positions all spoiler panels down. The down, arm, and up positions have a feature which can automatically position the spoiler panels. On the ground, with the speed brake lever in the arm position, all spoiler panels automatically move to the up position when thrust levers 1 and 3 are near the closed position. The speed brake lever automatically moves to the up position. On the ground, with the speed brake lever in the down position, all spoiler panels automatically move to the up position when reverse thrust lever 2 or 4 is raised to the idle detent. The speed brake lever automatically moves to the up position. On the ground, with the speed brake lever in the up position, all spoiler panels automatically move to the down position when thrust lever 1 or 3 is advanced from the closed position. The speed brake lever automatically moves to the down position. Question. Answer A is correct. The ICAST caution message. Speed brakes extended is displayed if the speed brake lever is aft of the arm position and radio altitude is between 15 and 800 feet, or landing flaps are selected, or two or more thrust levers are not closed. The ICAS warning message, Configuration Spoilers, is displayed if the speed brake lever is not in the down position and thrust levers 2 or 3 are advanced to the takeoff position. In flight, the ICAS advisory message, Speed Brake Auto, indicates a fault in the automatic speed brake system. Inadvertent spoiler extension may occur with the speed brake lever in the arm position. On the ground, automatic spoiler extension may not occur.